This is such a big trend. We're seeing freeze-dried foods everywhere now. Mm -hmm. Um, Can you maybe explain to our listeners what is freeze-drying? What's the process? Yeah, so uh, freeze-drying is a a process that will uh, dehydrate the product. So the the goal is to just like take out the water. Uh, So it will use uh, both freezing and... um, um, Sorry, it's um, sous vide. Sous vide, yeah. yeah. You can say sous vide. <laughs> okay, yeah. sous vide. So uh, yes, yeah, so it's gonna use the sublimation. So the water goes from solid to uh, va- vapor, and then it just like recondense in the in the machine, so we can uh, uh, take out the the water. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So simply put, it's literally taking the water out of foods. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. So and. At the same time, we we can keep all the the, the good things that uh, that have that we have in fruits and vegetables. So uh, we keep all the nutritional uh, values. Uh, so it's a, a really good uh, process for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what interests you in freeze drying? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, pretty much because it keeps all the the good nutrients in the the fruits and vegetables uh, and other products. Mm-hmm. But uh, so that's the major uh, uh, values to that but uh, I would say uh, the the texture also oh uh, it's pretty interesting so like uh, you will see on our um, our packaging that we have like the crunch <laughs> so it's written on that on it uh, so yes it's it's the texture you you kind of have the the chip texture so it's uh, a really good and healthy uh, way <laughs> to okay. uh, to to eat uh, the veggies. Yeah. What do you like about texture in mm. food? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> uh, so the the when we have like a surprise, I think sometimes when we do the degustation and everything, uh, so people can try our product. It's uh, the the surprise they've they've got in their in their eyes because it crunch. So it's the, I think that's. That's pretty much it. So for, for our listeners to understand, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a big box on my right, <laughs> and there are a lot of... Yes, and um, I'm always looking at it. You're looking <laughs> kind of. at it, but that's fine. I, and I do want to open that box in a package in a few moments for our listeners to understand that, that freeze-drying um, and that texture that you're referring to. How does freeze-drying affect the nutritional contents of food? You're saying that it's, it, it preserves the nutritional value. It, pre- it preserves the flavor of food. How does it do that compared to, let's say, dehydrating foods? Yeah, uh, so it is dehydrating food, but uh, it's just like we've got like two uh, two kind of ways to dehydrate the food. So we've got the freeze drying and dehydration uh, that we often uh, hear uh, and which use more like um, heat. Heat, yeah, yeah exactly. So I'll, I'll give you an example. So, I yeah. have a dehydrator mm-hmm. at home. Yeah. So I will, it, it stacks up. Mm-hmm. I'll take my, my strawberries, for example. Yeah. I'll cut them thin slices. I'll mm-hmm. put them in there. I'll set my dehydration temperature at around 135 mm-hmm. and I'll sit there for 12 hours. Yeah. What I'm left with compared to freeze drying is what? Uh, it, it, it depends like of the temperature you use. So like you said, like 135. Uh, so you you will lose some of the nutrient. They can be like uh, deteriorated or something like that. So they can you, you can lose a, a small part of them. So yes. And freeze drying so, doesn't do that. Yeah, exactly. What's the temperature then that it goes to? Uh, it's minus. I think it can go to minus fifty or yeah. It's it's pretty much of a. It's freezing, but it's like sur <laughs> uh, freezing. Yeah. Okay, mm. so just so our listeners explain, can can you step by step mm-hmm. explain how it works? So you have the fresh fruit in your hand. Yes. Let's go with mm-hmm. a blueberry, yeah. for example. Mm-hmm. Let's begin from a blueberry. What happens with the fresh fruit? What's the first step? Uh, so we wash it. So make sure there's no like bugs or anything, uh, branches or uh, leaves. Uh, so we wash them, we rinse them. Uh, and then we put them uh, on plate, uh, and then just put them in the free the freeze dryer. And uh, it goes. It's a process that goes about twenty four to forty eight hours. So it's taking pretty much time. But uh, and after that, uh, the product's pretty much ready. We are doing like a, a little um, analysis, which is a water activity. Mm-hmm. So we make sure that there's no water that is. Uh, 
available for microorganism to like Develop. Use it and then grow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, so to make sure the product will stay safe for consumption, uh, shelf as, stable. Yeah, exactly. So that's what makes it mm -hmm. shelf stable is the fact that there's absolutely no water molecules left. Yeah, exactly. And then we have the package. Mm -hmm. So the blueberries are. Mm -hmm. Let me open a package yeah, yeah. now here, so we can <laughs> we can see the difference. Help so yourself. They're put in the package right here. So what I'm looking at right now, whoa, okay. <laughs> so what I'm looking at right now are small freeze-dried blueberries. And mm -hmm. they, they really look like dried blueberries. The fruit is whole. These are possibly wild blueberries, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fruit is whole. It's not leaking in anything. Mm -hmm. the, it, it looks exactly like a wild blueberry would, mm -hmm. just a little bit more wrinkled, but not that much, actually. Mm -hmm. No, no, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't shrink. Like, no, yeah, it doesn't not shrink that at all. Much, yeah. Okay, so let me taste mm -hmm. the texture. <laughs> I don't know if we yeah, can hear it. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let <laughs> me take a few more. <laughs> I don't think I'll be sad about that. Oh, my God, the flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it concentrates the flavor also. Oh my like, God, the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm eating a blueberry times 10. Mm. How do you explain that? Uh, that That's a good question also, because uh, I think the fact that we, we freeze it and then just uh, pull out the water, it just stays as it, as it was when it was picked up in the, in the, the field. Mm -hmm. It's... That's really interesting. Um, who are these foods for? Because I understand that your your freeze drying, which is a very expensive technology, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> what does the machine look like? Uh, it's a square machine. <laughs> okay. How yeah, much space with, does it take up? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like now I'm doing some uh, movement, and so you cannot uh, <laughs> the auditor cannot see. But so you can see it's to like a refrigerator. Oh yeah! Uh, oh God, it's uh, smaller than that. Yeah, okay. it's smaller than that. We're get, like maybe a beer a, fridge. Maybe we're like a three, no, two f two feet by maybe three or four feet, and about yeah. like three feet oh, high. Like maybe yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a small beer fridge. Yeah, yeah. That's it depends. What it looks like. Yeah, but this is the majority of the machine we have. But uh, in our uh, facility in the Sacré Cœur, uh, we've got bigger machines that can that have the size of a refrigerator. Okay, so, where where does the food come from, Chez Eclat? <laughs> uh, from local farmer. Uh, that's what is our main priority. So when we cannot, we go for distributor, but it's it's the the, the main the main uh, uh, fruits and vegetables came from local farmers. So we have partnership with them, and uh, we're really close to them. We're taking all the 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 fruits that weren't uh, sold. Uh, sometimes the ones also that are not that. Uh, that beautiful or not not uh, cute enough for the, the, the we call them in French the mush. Yeah, right. exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's that's pretty much. So it. there's a food waste aspect to that. Yeah, also. Yeah, okay. really, it's really important for us. Uh, it's pretty in our value to uh, to no yeah no waste uh, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are some of the challenges of of doing freeze dried foods? Uh, but like we said earlier, there's the water and conservation like with the we talked uh, uh, really fast about the the packaging but this is a, a big uh, this, this was a big uh, challenge uh to make sure there's a uh, enough bar barrier uh to keep the 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 water from the outside the moisture away yeah, yeah to yeah, keep yeah. the moisture we, away yeah exactly because mm. it doesn't take much much moisture to rehydrate mm -hmm. this yeah exactly yeah you can just if you left that open uh, in five ten minutes it's gonna be like the blueberries you that were in the field <laughs> okay so you need to keep it in the package yeah close sealed them. there's yeah. A, like a ziploc technology on yeah, top of the bag exactly but we recommend to eat them like in the next hours or days. But don't go over that because they're gonna be. But the texture won't be that good. But it's gonna be good there. Flavors, yeah. There. The flavor is gonna <laughs> be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah. Who is this for? Because um, mm -hmm. hikers use it. Yeah. Astronauts eat it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm neither a hiker or an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> so, <No? laughs> well, some days I feel like I'm an astronaut, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> Who are these freeze dried foods for? In fact, for everyone. Like that's what is our hope. Like we we want to touch everyone with that product because uh, we want everyone to 
uh, eat healthy, healthy and to like have access to good food and flavor food uh, all year long. So that's pretty much you and me, the the people on the street. So I, that's uh, so kids like them so much. I think it it can be like a, a really good and healthier way to uh, to uh, to give a snack for our kids. Uh, you and me when we go walking, but just at the office, it's it's a, yeah. it's a good snack. So uh, yeah. sometimes it's a challenge to mm-hmm. bring fresh fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Sometimes it's not as accessible for people. Mm-hmm. Um, just one set, like one bag of this is seven grams. Yeah. Um, how much does this sell for? Just out of curiosity, do you know by heart? Uh, the the how price? Is, yeah. Oh yeah, it's three uh, three forty. Three dollars and forty cents yeah. for seven grams, which is yeah. which is interesting. Um, the the latest product here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> what am I holding in my hands here? <laughs> it's a big bag of a uh, tortière. Du, uh <laughs> so yes, this was in fact a surprise for us. Uh, the story behind behind that is, is because um, uh, I'm working at the research and development, and uh, so I try to uh, to develop different products. So the the first priority before the snacks, it was the food. We, uh, the, the, yeah, we wanted really to go for you that. Mean the, you mean the meals? Yeah, yeah, the meals. Okay. Yeah, it was our first priority. Why? But uh, we we took some detour and uh, we with the snacks and we came back with that. Uh, so I did some research. We did some development uh, with collaborate collaboration. And um, one day uh, at our cafe, we served the the tortière. Just as a meal for the the lunch for lunch time, and uh, we tried to freeze dry it, just to see what it will look like. And when we tasted it, we were like, "Oh, okay, what happened? <laughs> it's incredible!" So it was kind yeah. of a surprise, but uh, I don't know. It's like in science, it's that sometimes you try something and uh, it just it's not uh, it's it wasn't used for that, but it, you. Uh, you you got a, a surprise. So Amy, are, uh, you, are you telling me mm-hmm. that you can literally freeze dry anything? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, after that, sometimes the the the, the meal won't um, re rehydrate rehydrate. Yeah, uh, really good. The texture won't be that interesting. But this one was like really a surprise. Why do you think it's such a success? I don't know the 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 the. Um, the the ingredients i don't know the 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 meat really uh uh freeze dried good and rehydrate really easily uh that's it it works like that uh mm-hmm. the the potatoes it really works uh really well in the freeze dry also uh i don't know i think independently all the ingredients works well in in the freeze drying so put them together it's like yeah it's like really magic. tasteful <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, magic yeah. why do you think that so many people are interested in freeze dried meals why do you think that it's a current trend right now that people are asking they're mm-hmm. they're consuming these more and more we're seeing them in the markets more and more uh i think like uh today we want to save time <laughs> A lot, so we're always trying to find new ways to save time uh, uh, in the, in the, the kitchen. So that's I think that's pretty much um, that's pretty much the main reason why people are so interested, and also because of the shelf life. I think it's interesting that it can uh, it can you can keep that in your in your um, in your. Garde-manger. Yeah, and the garde-manger, I'm seeing <laughs> yes. here. So this and, uh, here that was done just recently is good until mm-hmm. October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. October. And uh, so for the moment, for the snacks, we're at nine months, but uh, I'm following them. So I've got samples yeah. and uh, I'm following them. And I and uh, once we reach, I don't know, one year, we will see if we can extend and then... So like you're at nine up. months now is the most yeah. that you've seen yeah. so far, yeah, and exactly. then I'm seeing a year almost for. Uh, yeah, the it's a it's a nine uh, nine months. Yeah, nine also, months. Oh, yeah. because it was just done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just okay. arrived uh, from uh, from Sacré Cœur. In fact. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna have a taste of that for sure. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> uh, so what's what's the next thing you're working on? You said that you tried the the tourtière. <laughs> any any scoops for Ooh, us? Any, I uh, don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking but, behind the bosses there. <laughs> but. Uh, in fact, with the tortière, we were like 
tradition, but innovative. So that's that's kind of the, the spirits we want to go for the next ones. So and keep in mind uh, about the keep in mind that we want to uh, give second life to foods or vegetables that uh, won't go on the market or are too ugly to go on the market. So that's that's the spirit of the next one. So mm -hmm. I think that's the farther I'll, I'll go for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amy, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. <laughs>